Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily Freibler. I upload new videos every single week on affordable beauty and fashion. And today I'm going to be doing my makeup as well as trying out some new products that I've never used before. So if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's start doing our makeup. I'm gonna zoom you in. I got this new camera and I'm messing around with it. So bear with me. Today for foundation, I'm going to be using the Age Perfect Serum Foundation from L'Oreal. So I'm just going to... Oh, I forgot a mirror. I always do this when I film. I'm just going to pounce this on the skin. This is one of my absolute favorites that I reviewed in the um, Foundation Friday series. If you haven't seen that, I will link it for you guys in the description box. It's so good. So this has SPF 50 in it, and I'm in the shade Golden Ivory. This is the littlest, baniest mirror in all the land. I need a bigger mirror. Oh, it looks so much like skin. It's crazy. So I'm gonna try out some makeup, and the first thing is the Maybelline Super Stay Active Wear Concealer. It says up to a 30 hour wear, which I don't know who wears concealer for 30 hours, but you know, whatever. This is the shade 22. I don't know. That's what it says on the on the top. Oh, that's kind of an interesting. That's kind of an interesting applicator. I don't know. A little strange. It's very. Ooh. Oh wow, it almost feels cooling. Why does it feel cooling on the face? And I wanted something that would be pretty close to my skin tone for the concealer, so it's not gonna be very brightening. I'm struggling today. Put a little bit more. So they have the Super Stay foundation as well, which I've actually never tried. I've tried their powder foundation, I think, from that line. Okay. It's pretty good. It's very lightweight and feels pretty good on the skin. So that's good. Next up, I'm gonna do the, my favorite powder right now is the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Powder. I love this stuff. And I just take a powder brush and go along the face. This powder I literally wore in Nashville in so much heat and my makeup Honestly, it looked really good all day. This is the CoverGirl High Pigment Bronzer in the shade Sunset Glitz. So I'm just going to put this all over the face. This just makes your face look so nice and bronzy without being like overdone. And I feel like my face just looks really glowy. That's also another plus from this foundation. It's just seriously one of the best easy to throw on foundations. Um, it has SPF 50, so I love wearing it in the summertime. Just throw on and go. It's so good. So this is the Milani Luminoso blush. I've literally worn this for years and it's almost gone, so I need a new one. It is literally one of my absolute favorite ones. Probably my top blush, honestly. I just love, love, love a peachy blush. It's one of my absolute favorites. Okay, I'm liking the concealer. I feel like it looks pretty good. It's not super high coverage. Like, I would say it's a medium coverage, but I like that look. I don't really mind it. So, yeah, the Super super Stay Concealer is pretty good. I do have a little bit of brow gel already on my brows just because I had some meetings earlier. So, I like to just at least put on a brow. This is the NYX Thick It Stick It in the shade Brunette. It's my ride or die right now. I love it so much. Basically, the other two couple products I have is this little baby mascara from Maybelline, which I'm really excited to try out for my lower lashes. I always tend to get mascara on the lower part of my eye just because, you know, the wands are too big and all that kind of stuff. So this is literally called a... This is our Lash Discovery Mascara. It has a mini brush that captures and coats hard to reach lashes. So it's literally supposed to be like this big. So we'll see how it works. But first I'm going to curl my lashes. I need a mirror. I'm gonna poke my eye out. Also lost my lash serum. So I didn't wear it for like, I don't know, maybe five days. I was like, oh no, I feel like my lashes are gonna go bad again. So I have reordered it on Amazon and it's literally the best thing ever. I think the one I use is like $25 and I've repurchased it now maybe three times, maybe four times, I don't know. And it's 
so good. I will link it for you guys. This is the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. The best of the best, you guys. If you don't use a lash primer, what are you doing? Okay, while that's sitting, because I like mine to be tacky, let's uh, do the lips. I have two new lip products. I know you guys have wanted to see new lip products, and I got others to try out. I'm just trying to figure out logistically how to do it because... Trying out one or two lip products in a video is, like, going to take two minutes. <laughs> so, not that, like, you know, I don't like making shorter videos. But, like, I like to get, like, around a 10-minute video. So, I don't know if I should try multiple throughout the week and then put it in one video. Like, let me know what you're thinking, okay? Because I don't really know how to do it. And you guys want to hear about new lip products. But, like, tell me how you want it or what you think would be a good way to do it. Also, I hate, <laughs> I hate these little things on stuff. I don't get why they put these little films on there. It's just a waste of plastic. Like I get you don't, they don't want people to open them, but like, come on. So the lip liner I'm gonna try is from NYX. This is in the shade Bed Rose. I guess it's a sharpenable one. Does it have one of those sharpeners on the bottom? I can't tell, I don't understand. We're gonna try this out. It looks pinky and I'm excited. Oh, it is very pink, okay. I'm just gonna kind of feather it in and then put my lips together a little bit. And then I have the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. Now, I feel like I might have tried this a while ago, but this is like a nude nude, so that's why I thought with the pink might be a good combination. So, we'll try it out. I love NYX Butter Glosses. I just, I don't remember trying this one. And if I did, it was a really long time ago. So, I'm putting some on, and I'm basically just trying to blend it together. Okay, it's definitely very, very pink. I don't know, I'm more of a nude girl or a pinky nude, but this is pretty, it's pretty pink. I feel like with, I would like fortune cookie a little bit better with my normal lip liner, but I like what I like. I don't know, I just feel like, I don't know. It could be a vibe for different situations, we'll see. This is the Maybelline Colossal Mascara in, or the Curl Bounce. Yeah, the Colossal Curl Bounce Mascara. So we're gonna use this on the top lashes and then the little tiny one on the bottom one. This also could be good if you're kind of like me. The inner corner lashes are sometimes hard to get, but it's mainly the bottom lashes that I want it for to see if it can really separate them and if it won't get on my skin, you know? I say, oh, I don't want it to get on my skin, and then I get my normal mascara on my skin. Okay, let's try out this bottom lash mascara. Ooh, it looks like a flexible wand. Let's try this. Okay, it's definitely separating them more than normal. I still feel like I'm getting a little bit on my skin just because it's the name of the game almost, but... Okay, I do like how it coated it. Um, it's not going to be as volumizing unless you put, I think, like multiple coats. Like, you're not going to get, I don't know, thicker bottom lashes, I guess, if that makes sense. I like the mascara. The lip liner is very pink uh, for me. I don't know if I like that shade. Like, the formula is good and everything, not really a sh my kind of shade. I feel like I would love Fortune Cookie. It's a very, very nude, nude, nude gloss. But it, I feel like I would love it with some of my nude lipsticks and lip liner and combine it like that. So I will definitely try it out in the future and let you guys know. The other thing is the concealer. Like I said, it feels super lightweight under my eyes. Doesn't look cakey at all. And it also has like medium coverage. So I do really like that. I think it looks really good. So yeah, that is the finished makeup. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every single week on affordable beauty and fashion. So I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you guys in a video very, very soon. Bye guys.